Oh, cool. Someone mentioned me in one of their videos. I wonder what Today, it's about. we're going to be ranking... Some ranking Rec Room YouTubers. Ah, oh, the good stuff. Yes, yes. Let's see what he has to say about me. He's just kind of... Not a great record. I don't. I'm not a big fan of his videos. I watch him sometimes. Let's put him in C tier. Chubby or snail. Ooh. Rectuber ranking videos are cringe. But before I dive too deep into this topic, we need to address someone who's very guilty of making these videos, and that is me. It's me. I've participated in the dark arts. I have drinking the forbidden Kool-Aid. I have also tried to bait clicks from this sort of topic. So for example, I made this Rectuber ranking video gone wrong a while back. It was me just reacting to someone else's video. And it's very cringe because I got S tier and I was like, oh, let me react to this. Wow, I'm so special, right? It made me feel good. Damn, look at those arms. That guy is strong. But uh, not my first offense either. I also made a video. This one, was, it used to be called ranking the top 10 rec room YouTubers. I changed the title because I thought it was more appropriate. But yeah, in this video, I just ranked people based off subscriber count, but it doesn't change the point that I was trying to, you know, use people's names to try and get views for myself. So just wanted to throw all that out there because I'm not better than anyone. I have done this too. I just have a new opinion now that I've been observing a little longer. But getting back on topic, I think one of the reasons these videos do so well is because Rec Room YouTubers watch them and they always kind of secretly hope that their name is mentioned. They, it's, it's an unmatchable high to be recognized and be given a high tier. And so I want to show you a quick video here of the first one I think I've ever been mentioned in. Let's watch it. I'm not just going to give him an S because he's my friend you know i'm gonna give him this though <laughs> just because he's a really nice guy he posts pretty solid you know quality videos i'm just gonna give him an s spoiler alert i did only get s because i'm friends with him it's not because i was good just throwing that out there but yeah this felt great this felt like the start of something fantastic well the thing is that i never thought about the lower tiers right like i never thought about the a tiers the b tiers i was just on top of it and i felt good so i saw no problem with that i was content moving on and then i think i peaked when bothaya made this video where he ranked a ton of different people and just complimented them and by the way i think this is the greatest ranking video ever i don't think anyone's done a better job but bo had some great comments at the end of it that i want to watch with you here they are in fact real people on the other side of that screen yes so when you say oh this person's garbage their their content's trash give them f rank you know that's that's a real person and so we're very much not about putting people down here we're about lifting them up wonderfully worded and again that is something that escaped me for a while i saw my name in s tier here i kind of like got the message he was saying but it didn't affect me i was like oh it feels bad man i'm good everyone sucks keep giving me s rank right and that's when i started to notice that with time Something was happening. I'd see my names in these videos and suddenly, oh, I'd be A rank. Mm. Still in the middle of the pack. I don't care too much. Again, I didn't spend much time thinking about how the people down here felt, you know, like the Bothias and the Soul Foxes of the world, but probably not too good, right? And then as more time went on, I started to see videos like this, where it's like, okay, chub your snail. Mm, A rank? Ooh, very good. Oh, B, uh... Oh, I guess I ended up in B rank, which is like, that kind of feels shitty. I still kind of felt fine because it's sort of in the beginning of the pack, but it's not too high up. Um, again, I should have been empathizing with people down here. Like, Oreo VR is fantastically talented. I don't know why he was given that rank. Same story, different font. B rank again. Slat and C is absolutely absurd. He's the most successful trainer of all time. He's killing it right now. Then it leads to videos like this where it's not even ranking based off of like facts or anything. It just becomes straight shit talking. All right, Honestly, so now we're doing Chubby or Snail. He... He's just kind of not a great Rectuber. If we keep going, I'm not the only victim here. There's Righteous, the reason is because Righteous didn't collab with him. Uh, I think it was like a good friend of his, Mr. Bro. Harry Manlegs, because it's like, it's cool to hate on Harry. And then there's a whole you kid me tier, which is, that's just straight up bullying. That's fucked up. And so the point of this conversation is not for me to be like, oh, woe is me, everyone feel bad. Like, I'm doing fine. I have a lot of subs. I have a lot of viewers. Not everyone's going to like me, whatever. I'm not even too upset with the ranking of C tier. I think you could have made some good arguments, such as like, you know, Chubby Snail swears. That's not for everyone. I don't personally like that. Or you could have said like, my upload schedule sucks. Or maybe even say something like, yeah, Chubby Snail's a big narcissist. All he ever does is put his face in every damn thumbnail. Like, seriously, what the hell's up with that dude? Get over yourself. It's just everywhere. You look ugly. It's fine, you know? These are all valid. But what I've been reflecting on is that the video made me feel a little annoyed for 10 minutes, but then I moved on with my life. Maybe I'm actually molding a little bit because I'm making a whole video on it, but that's besides the point. But then I started to think about, like, wow, the average player is not, you know, old man here with great emotional intelligence. I think the average Rec Room YouTuber looks more like this which is uh, actually my little brother from about 10 years ago. And I think this video is really funny because as you'll see, he just lifts up a gun. <laughs> so, so don't mess with him. But you know, another example is the average YouTuber might also look like this, which is me, you know, too cool to look at the camera. And the honest truth is that if I saw that ranking video, right? If someone said this shit about me, had like a chubby or snail tear and was garbage, I think I would have legitimately cried. 
And like, I'm not someone who cries easy, but you know, like dead grandparents, I cried then. Uh, when I graduated college, I cried because it was pretty emotional. And then yeah, being online bullied is just, that would absolutely break me back then. I'm glad I'm an adult now. Now all I do is like, I, I, I mauled on the internet and make videos and it's like, grr, you know, but it's destructive. And I think these videos are incredibly toxic. Again, I don't care if you guys criticize me. I'm more worried about the players that look like this. The young impressionable people that would have really severely impacted self-esteem could potentially get lifelong trauma for being internet bullied. It's not even an exaggeration, but I'm not just here to slap you on the wrist. I'm here to offer you alternatives. So these are my suggestions. If you want to make a video that compliments your friends or certain record YouTubers, that's great. Go for it. Positivity is fantastic. Again, my favorite example of all time of this is Bo's tier list where it's every Everyone S tier, but you don't even need to do a tier list. You can literally just have a video titled like, oh, these are my favorite Rec Room YouTubers. And you can say nice things about all of them. I just think we really need to break the habit of things like this, where it's like, yeah, these are my favorites. And also all these people suck. I hate them. You know, like there's no need for the bottom part. You could just say your favorites and it's equally effective. But maybe you don't want to compliment people. Maybe the real reason is that you want to do a tier list video and get a lot of views. And if that's the case, I have a solution for you. You can just make something like this. And the key is that it's not about people. It's about things. So for example, you could do ranking Rec Room weapons, ranking Rec Room consumables, ranking Rec Room cosmetics, ranking Rec Room events. I did ranking Rec Room originals. And the wonderful thing is that Rec Room originals don't have feelings. You could be as mean and entertaining as you want and you won't hurt anyone's feelings. For example, yeah. But anyways, feel free to check out the video if you want some inspiration. And also leave a comment below letting me know how you feel. Is this something you agree with or is this a certified feels bad man skill issue chub your snail sucks moment? It's probably both. Thank you all for watching. Remember, stay chubby and uh, stop making tearless videos. Okay, let's do it. Cool. Okay, thanks. Bye.